Good afternoon, Dana. So excited that you could take a few minutes to join us today. Um, we are thrilled to have you join us in Santa Fe for the Wisdom for Better Tourism Retreat. Um, to kick us off, I would love for you to just take a, take a moment and just introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your story. Okay. I'm Dana Smith. I live in Oregon, Southern Oregon, and I have three kids, married, um, I'm really involved in my kids' lives right now. Um, they play a lot of tennis and I get to coach tennis and that's just a highlight for me. Great. I love that. Um, fantastic. Uh, well, we're just going to jump right in. And what we really want to hear is what called you to the Wisdom Retreat for Better Tourism? Well, I received an invite from Jake, who's a lifelong friend, and Chip, um, along with his book, I think at the beginning of the year. And it kind of made me feel special and honored um, to be invited. And when I really started thinking about October and seeing my schedule evolve, I felt like this was the right timing for me. And I enjoy nature and adventure, and I'm looking forward to meeting new people and also seeing New Mexico for the first time. Yeah, you're in for the treat. I, I actually have been to the campus in Santa Fe, and I'm an MBA alumni, so I'm personally really excited for you. Um, it's, yes. it's, it's really <laughs> special to be there and to be in community. Um, so I, all good things are coming. <laughs> um, so what are some of your kind of aspirations or hope for sort of the future of tourism at large? Yeah, this, this question's a little tricky for me because I don't think about that that often, but um, as I did read through Chip's book, um, I was kind of drawn to the words um, and the meaning behind um, appreciative inquiries. So mm -hmm. that kind of made me think about how other people can use that um, with future travels or the future of tourism. So I, that's what, that's my um, aspirations is for um, people to listen more, talk less and see what they gain from it while traveling. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so what do you feel the role of wisdom in particular plays in tourism today and tomorrow in the future? Yeah. And again, uh, the book helped me with this one as well, because I learned more about what, um, wisdom you know, how, how it evolved, what it meant. And so I like that it, um, includes growth mindset and practicing wellness and graceful aging, which applies to me. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's helpful to utilize these practices before, during, and after travel, and then help spread the word to those who we come, come in contact with during travel. Yeah, I really love that that integration piece of the whole process. Sometimes people only think about the actual travel, but I agree um, that the the beginning, the middle, and the after <laughs> uh, extends far beyond the actual experience. Um, so, on a personal note, why is transformational travel important to you and in your heart? So when my kids were young, I enjoyed like, you know, the Vegas trip, the girls trip, um, athletic events to different um, places. And in the last few years, I'm getting less and less out of those trips. I come back unfulfilled and wanting more. So now that my kids are older and I'm older, I have more time to devote to travel and I'm um, craving just more out of my travel experiences. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, if you could wave a magic wand and change one aspect of travel or tourism, what do you think it would be? Um, I kind of have this personal thing about how careers um, are just pushed in um, people's lives, uh, specifically in America, and how that can kind of take away from people's schedules and just having some open... <clears throat> opportunity or breaks um to go and travel so I guess that would be what I would do is yeah more time for people to just really be able to sink in to some of their travel experiences um and that it it was kind of more of a, a there was more of a work-life balance and and some enjoyment for people to 
to be able to go and do that. Yeah, I really feel that I've I've lived in other countries before, and there is quite a contrast in that uh, concept yeah. of really dropping into a place and uh, not squeezing it all into the five days that you have off. So yeah, I yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any words of wisdom and, you know, a little bit more generally speaking that you want to share? Well, I feel like if I can do this, <laughs> anyone can do this. I'm kind of a private person and I'm trying to push myself to be more open and, um, to be out of my comfort zone. So, um, when, in regards to this trip, I'm excited and I'm nervous, but I'm also just counting the days until mid-October comes. So those are my parting words. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Well, I appreciate all of the time that you're taking with us and uh, we can't wait to gather in community with you soon. Thank Thanks. you.